Oh, yep, that is ex oh, eight mythical. Dead. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. Today, we're going to be checking out the newest DLC for Call of the Wild, the Scopes and Crosshairs pack. This includes three new scopes and five new crosshairs. So I'm very excited to mess around with these today and blast some stuff. You guys know me. But before we go any farther into this video, I've got something I need to share with you. Today's video is sponsored. For the first time in two years, I have taken a sponsorship. So you know it's pretty good. And today's sponsor is none other than Call of the Wild, or more specifically, the Avalanche Studio Group, who is the owner of Expansive Worlds, who is the developer of Call of the Wild. So that's right, they have popped my sponsorship cherry, and I'm so glad they were my first time. So not only does this put money directly into your favorite YouTuber's pocket, but they were kind enough that they gave me a code that I can give to one of you guys to get this DLC for free. But you might be saying, Rooster, I, I, can't, I can't get the DLC. It wouldn't matter. I don't have the game. Not a problem. They also gave me a code for the base game as well. And if you have the game, you can give this to your friend. Then you can get one of your friends playing with you. You can show off all your cool new scopes and, and crosshairs and stuff. It's a win-win. But if you're interested in buying it anyways, you don't want to see if you can win or not, don't worry, I got a link down in the description. It'll take you directly to the Steam store. And if you use that link, it makes me look good because I think it's it's, it's, a, it's called a tracking link and I think they can tell how many people buy it using this link. So if you guys want to make your favorite YouTuber look good, <clears throat> I want you to go ahead and buy that DLC through that link. But yeah, I'll tell you guys how to win the DLC later. But for now, let's get hunting. Let's, let's try out one of these scopes here. I'm real excited. So to be able to show off these scopes, I want to go with a loadout that you guys are very familiar with. This is my main thing. We got the Malmer 7mm Magnum, which is my favorite gun in the game. The Ranger 243, which is arguably one of the best guns in the game, the starting weapon. The Virant 22 LR, and the Sunberg 454. So, typically, I use the Argus for everything. This is an 8 to 16 times zoom, which means this thing is long range. However, with one of the new scopes, the Odin 4x12, this is going to let us take down things that are close range and long range. So if we look in here, that is max zoom. Hold on, I'm out of breath. So this is the wobble that we're looking at right here. Eh, it's pretty wobbly. But if I zoom out to here, it's not nearly as bad. I can definitely take this shot comfortably and keep it in. And if I zoom in, I can also pretty comfortably take that shot. Now long range, that's also really not that bad. To be completely honest, depending on how things go today, we might never see the Argus again. This might become my main thing. But there's only one way to know for sure. We gotta go test this out and shoot some stuff. Or at least we will once we change this up. Because you know what? This is, this is too basic. I don't like the look of this crosshair. But we don't need to worry about that anymore. Because we got five new ones we can mess around with. Let's go check them out. So to change up your reticle, you want to go to your storage. Go over to one of the scopes that you want to change. For example, I'm going to change up the Odin for today. So we'll click C to customize. And we got a nice little reticle preview. So here we have one of the new ones called the Duplex Center Cross. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this. I don't like them big, thick lines. So we can check out something like the Mil.2. This is the original. Those lines are a lot deeper. In the Mil.2, they're pulled back quite a bit. I like that more. The next thing we have here is the Target Dot. This might be the best looking one I've seen so far in the game. This might be the thing I use from here on out. And if that's still too much for you, we've got something called the reticle cross cut, which is even more reduced, which honestly, I also really like this one. And last but not least, if you want something even more reduced, you can use the chevron, which to be honest, I, I still like the typical, you know, the, the vertical and horizontal crosshairs. I think for today, I, it feels weird to be using the reticle cross cut. I'm not used to seeing this in games. But it is, I think it is going to be nice. I need to have a vertical and a horizontal line. I think we're going to go with the target dot today. I think that might be my go-to. So, 4,500. Thankfully, I had enough money. I will snag this here. So, now that we got that set up, let's do a little bit of hunting. So, we are on Silver Ridge Peaks right now. This is arguably one of the easiest maps to hunt on in the entire game. So, I feel like this is a really good one for us to test things on. So, I'm going to make sure this is set up to the Odin for every single one. That can use it at least. All right, so we should be good to go. Let's see if we can find something. All right, so to test this out, I've come up here to a really good bison lake. This should be perfect. Oh yeah, we got some right there. All right, 
so we might be a little bit too close. And typically, if I'm using the Argus, this would not go well. They are way too close. That's a level 2. He's not too bad. So I could take them down with this gun, and I'm going to a little bit. But the other thing I could do would be to switch over to my Sunberg and try out the new Hermes 3 to 7 by 3 to 7 by 33 handgun shotgun scope. That's a mouthful. Now, typically for the handgun scopes, handgun shotgun scopes, they go one to four times magnification. This one is a lot better. I could actually shoot across the lake and hit this guy with this handgun, which is insane. Let's see. This guy's a level three. He's not too bad. So what I might do is use the Odin to take out this dude. I then we'll take the ones that are close to us with the shotgun or the handgun scope. So let's see. About 200 yards out. Shouldn't be a problem for the Odin. Let's see here. Right about. Should be a heart shot. Then we'll switch over. That's the wrong gun. We want to use this. Come on now. Wait, where'd they go? What? Oh, they're right there. There's one for him. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Oh, he's even coming to fight me. Oh, no, he's not. Yep, I think this is going to be my favorite scope for the, for the handgun shotgun. So easy just to pick these guys off. But I don't have the high penetration ammo, so this is not going to be good. But I absolutely need to get my score up, and I think this is going to be a fantastic way to do it. Uh, that was a bad shot. All right. Uh, you know what? I guess I should probably pick off this, you know, the, the stragglers here. Okay. We'll grab that one with the Odin. This is real nice now that we're getting a little bit farther. All right. Let's go see what we got here. Um, yeah, this, this is a big mess. <laughs> I've destroyed this lake completely. Oh, uh, yeah. No organ sit. The Sunberg without the super high penetration ammo is not a fantastic gun. But once you finally unlock that, I think it's the best gun in the game. And I've spent two years trying to unlock that now. and It is taking ages. Ooh, we did get a nice vital here. That must have been from the Sunberg. All right, let's see what we got here for the first one. This was a female, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, female, light brown. We got her in the lung with the Sunberg. So that's going to give us some good points there. And we got her from 109 yards because of that, that new scope, the Hermes. Very, very nice. But yeah, so far, I'm really digging this reticle. Nice big dot right in the center there. I know exactly where I'm going to hit. And those other lines, they're not, they're not too big, but they kind of give me a good frame of reference on where I'm aiming. I like this. And we hit this boy with a nice vital. This was a male, level 3. And yeah, we missed the first lung, but we poked him in the second one. We got him from 199 yards, pretty much exactly where I aimed. Yeah, fairly good reticle. I like that. I think we got a few more. I think, yeah, that's a lot of pink. So. Hey, bud. Oh, you're just sitting there on top of the blood. I'm sorry. 2550. Ooh, that's a good sign. So we got another one here. This one looks to be a female. She is a level two female with a horrible shot. And then another horrible shot. And then another horrible shot. But she eventually died. I'll take it. Hopefully that'll boost my score just a little bit more. And I don't think anything... Oh, no. This one may have died. We'll go after this one. Ooh. I think we got something up there. That would be a pronghorn. So we could go take that out with my 243. Shouldn't be a big deal. And you know what? I kind of want to take it from this distance. I wonder if I can hit that. I might do 300. Go a little bit closer. Where did my bison go? Should be almost dead. I got 0 to 25, and it's been like that for a long time. Where did you go? Did she stop bleeding? I think she may have stopped bleeding. All right, so I want to hit this dude. Let's pull out the Odin and see how things look from 300. Holy crap, that's really not that bad. Yeah, I hit him. I don't think that was a very good shot, but we definitely hit him. You know what? Hold up. Where are you guys? Ooh. 
There's something right there. <laughs> That's typically not how you're supposed to be hunting. Just shooting randomly into the trees. Could have been a cow for all I know. Alright, let's see if anyone wants to come fight me. Yeah, warning call. Ooh, that's what I like to see. Ah, uh, it's not gonna show himself. I'm trying to zigzag and, and look for things. Oh, that guy died up there. And that is so unfortunate that female stopped bleeding here. Was that the lake I was just at? Ooh, no, that's a different lake. We might have bison here. If I didn't spook them all off already. And, yep, I spooked them all off. That's a level three. And I can just get them in the lungs right there. Real easy. Okay, there's a three. There's a two. A one. And a two. Nothing, nothing crazy. But they are all lined up and ready to be dropped. There's another one. There's another one there. This is real easy, like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh yeah. Okay, I gotta stop shooting them. I, I gotta go get this pronghorn and this other guy. <laughs> Too many things. Let's focus. So, Pablo, need your help, buddy. I think I shot the pronghorn around here. Let me check. Well, it's just pink on my map. I have no clue. Yeah, he's actually bleeding pretty heavy. I am surprised about that. We got him with a lung shot. Pretty much dead on exactly where I wanted it to be. Wow. And that has nothing to do with the scope. That's just all my skill. Uh, no, I'm actually quite pleased with that. I think using a different crosshair would make things a lot easier. Because if you guys remember, I don't use zeroing. So I just have to kind of like eyeball it. Having one of the one of the scopes that have the several notches, I think it was called the was it the mill dot two? I think the mill dot two is the one that's very, very fine and has more dots on it. That one would probably be best if you don't use zeroing and you want to take long shots like this. But you can use any of them. And he's not bad. He's a nice little 52. Good little silver. Alright. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Now I gotta go back and get this bison. And then we gotta go grab all those bison. Otherwise, I'm gonna get a bunch of hate comments for not collecting my kills. Oh, he's back down underneath me. That might be a spray and pray with a handgun. Let me see here. Oh, we got him with a liver shot. Very nice. Oh, it's a female. Crap. Um, I don't know if I hit anyone else. I also don't really want to go check. I kind of just want to go down here and have a little bit of fun. All right. Let's see if we can spot these guys. They're not too far out. Oh. Nervous traveling. Should I just chase him down? Not that far away. Oh, look at that. There's another bison. Cool. All right, this one was a big old fluffy male. Uh, he's not that big. Okay, chill, chill. Very close. 50 to 110. Or not 50, 80 to 110. Mmm, I see. She's alert. Yeah, turn back around. That's real, real nice of you, huh? Right in the goddamn head. And we dropped her. There we go. <laughs> I, I do like this scope a lot. This is gonna make handgun videos much easier. Alright, <laughs> let's see. Uh, brain shot. Beautiful. I'm actually surprised that penetrated enough. And I will take it. Let's see how much that gives me for a bad shot like that. That gives me 45. Okay, go for some brain shots if you want to boost the score. That is nice. Oh, just one lone female. Oh, she's 0 to 25. I'm gonna be a good person and put her out of her misery. With a 22. Once I spot this guy. Oh yeah, he's fine. I'm sorry, girl. Let me help you. A little bit higher. There we go. Don't worry about it. Oh, she's all confused. Is she aggressive? Oh, she is aggressive. Wonderful. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Come on, girl. Oh, you can make it here. Don't give up. Keep coming. Yeah, I am very, very excited for these new scopes here. Absolutely 
amazing. I missed. I missed again. There we go. No, I hit her. <laughs> that was dumb. I was out of breath trying to take the shot. Oh, it was a little bit low. And I shot her in the back. Ah, not a big deal. Alright, this was one of the males I think we got. Yeah, level 3. Pretty good shot with a 7mm. Nothing special, though. And I think, based on the map, we've got about 10 other animals to go grab. I'm gonna be quick about it, though. Okay, that's kind of sad. <laughs> we got, like, a trail of bodies as they all dropped as they ran away. Uh, you know what? Maybe I stop hunting bison for a bit after this. I, I don't feel right about that. But, on the plus side, that's a lot of vitals. I like that. And the next one, we got a level 2. Shot him in the liver and the intestines. Then we got a level 2 female. Got her right in the lung there. And last but not least, we got a level 2 female again. Pretty bad shot. But, we are earning good money. We are pretty much back to what we were before. Now, we could keep doing this all day, but... We could also do this at nighttime because we have a new night vision scope to check out. So I think we're going to head up to the top right hand corner of the map and hunt something a little bit different. Maybe some muleys, maybe some elk. Ooh, already got a call. Very nice. Uh, that was from a mountain lion that got mad at me. <laughs> so that's not good. Wait, that didn't sound like a mountain lion. I think that was a different thing. That might have been a sheep or something. But let's set this time here. We'll set it to... We'll set it to midnight. Nice and spooky. Oh, beautiful. All right. Turn on my light. Ooh, there is absolutely zero wind right now. This is nice. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you didn't know this, your flashlight will make the tracks highlight. So if you see those bright flashing ones, if my flashlight is not looking at them or it's turned off, I can't actually see tracks. So that's a pretty cool thing. So we're going to be using the Angler 4 to 8 by 100 night vision rifle scope. And we're going to set this one as well. And this one as well. Okay, this is actually really creepy at nighttime. Let's check it out here. Ooh, it's blue. All the other scopes, I think, are green. I like this. So let me read this off a little bit because it's got some text about it. Okay, I don't like all the weird screaming noises in the background. So apparently this rifle scope uses a modern white phosphor technology. That is pretty cool. Oh, it's a mating call of a mule deer. Ooh. What the fuck? I don't like this. This is creepy. Let's slowly approach. Um, I changed the time. I don't know if that's going to mess up my scent. So I'll put on more scent eliminator. But, yeah, I'm not going to really be able to use my... uh my normal spotting methods. Ooh, okay, maybe I am. So if I check him out with this, that shouldn't really be all that hard to hit. And he's gonna die from that. Beautiful. Oh, we spooked our boys here. I do want to spot him. Oh, there's bats on this map. That is awesome. Oh yeah, these muleys are long gone. You know what? Let's fast travel back. To Actually, I'm close enough. I'm just gonna go get a different... Uh, Different binoculars. I, I really want to be able to see stuff at night. Ooh, we got mountain lions here too. Let's go all the way down to binoculars. We're going to swap out my Apex. Or actually, I might keep them. And we'll also bring out our Gen Zero uh, night vision. And then I can drag and drop that in number six. And this is what all the other rifle scopes look like that are night vision. They're green. Which, honestly, I think I prefer the green more. I'm not really sure how I feel about this uh, this new night vision scope. The white phosphorus, it's cool that it's different, and I do appreciate having some differences and stuff, but that just doesn't look as cool as the green, I think. I think it's a little bit harder to actually see stuff. <gasps> he didn't die. Oh, no, it was a bad shot then. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of figured I wouldn't like this crosshair. This one right here. I figure that might give me some problems. Do I shoot at the tip of it? Do I shoot right in the middle of the tip? Don't know. What the fuck keeps screaming at me? Ooh. Mating call. Let's see if we can spot it. It's only a female, though. 
But I will take her out because I absolutely hate Pumas, as you guys know. Yep, I don't see her anywhere. Where could she have gone? I don't hear any warning calls or anything like that. Oh, yeah, I do hear a warning call. Oh, there she is. Common drinking. That's a male. You know what? Let's take out this male while we still can. Okay, and I'm gonna pop him right there. Kill him instantly. The female? Can't let her get away. I don't even care if I damage her. Yeah, I don't care for the crosshair or for this night vision scope, to be completely honest with you guys. I can't even see her. Wow. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is a little bit tricky. It could just be this terrain here. But I don't know. Or maybe she died. I think, I think maybe we actually just killed her. That is kind of cool to see Pumas drinking, though. I didn't know they drank right now. We might actually need to go to another lake and see if we can find more, because that's, that's really cool. And I would like to get myself a nice diamond puma. Alright, yep. Yeah, good vital on this boy. Where? W where? Was it over here? I feel like it was over here. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna let him calm down a little bit, I guess. This guy was a silver. He was actually, he's pretty close to being wall of shame. He's not very good. And we got him with a double lung. <laughs> Stupid ass Puma. All right. I don't know where that call came from. I guess we keep moving. Oh, warning call. Up in here. And it's a male. Oh, wait. Oh! He's alarmed. You know what? Let's go for him. Before he actually takes off running. He's dead. She's hurt, I think. I think she died. Let's double check. Come on now. Oh yeah, we got them both. All right, actually, not bad. I don't know, huh. I'm starting to warm up to the white phosphorus because that is quite a bit brighter than, uh, than I thought it would be. You look at this, I like the look of the green better, but that white phosphorus is possibly a bit bright. What did I see? What did I see? I don't know, that might have been Pablo walking in front of me. But I thought I saw an animal prompt. Yeah, I did not expect to be pounding some pumas today. Very, very exciting. I think for high contrast, this is better. Also, turkey. <gasps> Ooh, turkey. Hmm, he must have got scared by a puma or something. I might go after him because I can use my 22. Holy shit, there was more. Okay, where did I even get these guys? There's one of them. Okay, there they are, right down in there. God, I don't... It sounds like there's boars here. And I know there's not any boars here. But it sounds like it. Spot animal. There we go. Turkey. We're gonna go up for him with our 22 after this. Oh, here we go. This was a dark red female. Real good shot. And we got this one with a nice vital. Insta-killed him. This one was with a neck shot and a lung shot, and he was a gold. Very nice level seven. Okay. Turkey time. Ooh. Or do we go for the drinking bighorn sheep that is drinking on a mountainside for some stupid reason? Maybe we go for him. I think actually he's drinking because he got spooked away from his need zone. Oh, wow. These guys are hard to spot. What the hell? Oh, the turkey's coming in too. You know what? I say we just wait here. And we see what happens. Alright, we got a level 3 up to 120. 
to 134. As soon as he stops moving, I think we're going to pick him off. Because I don't want him getting up too much higher. It's already getting a little bit hard. Uh, he's really moving. Yeah. That guy's too far gone. I might just need to take the shot. All right, here we go. Running shot. Well, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to take the running shot. Where are you? Oh, bad shot. Oh, we got him. Okay. There we go. You know what? I talked a lot of shit about that crosshair at first, but... Maybe I just need to play around with it a little bit more. But I don't think you guys will ever see this scope popping up on my video again. Um, if we ever do a night vision, which night vision hunting is not really my thing. If we ever do a night vision hunt, it will definitely come back. But I don't particularly like hunting at night. Except to do stuff like that. <laughs> and bonk that bird. Okay, uh... It is a good change of pace. I'll think about it. If you guys are actually interested, I may do a night, uh, night hunting video. Anyways, though, this guy was a silver. 112. Got him with a decent shot there as he was running. And we got one more. Right up in there. This guy is a 127. Pretty good. Lung shot and a liver. A little bit farther back than I'd like. But that's why I aim for lungs. Because if I miss the lungs, I'll probably hit the liver. And this was a gold male. Yeah. Oh, it actually was pretty good. And <laughs> we got him with a butt shot. Oh, I closed Call of the Wild. All right, I'm back into Call of the Wild. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to check this lake one last time. And I don't see anything. And we're going to go change it back to daytime because I do not like night hunting. So I got it set to daytime. So we are not going to need this night vision scope anymore. Toss that out of there. Did I fall on the ground? Oh, no, it came off my gun. Okay. And we're going to go over to the Odin. And I'm going to customize it. We're going to swap it out. And I kind of want to try using the mil.02. I also kind of want to use the reticle crosscut. But now we're, we're going to try the mil. Dot. I think we got to change it up a little bit. There we go. Let's see. How does this look? That's... What gun is that? I don't even know what gun that is. Oh, we're out of ammo. I need to get more 7 mil. Oh my gosh, we're super low on ammo. On everything. Unfortunately, I still only have a score of 4,100. Also, that sounded like an elk. So let's buy some of this real quick. Let's take a look. Where did that come from? Oh, down there. All right. Pretty cool. So, I changed up my reticle. Uh, I might need to switch this back over to the Odin. Let's take a look. This is the mill dot. I like it. But I want to spot this boy over here. Where are you at? I also picked up my elk collar too. So worst case, we'll bring them into a better location. She's calm, eating. Do you have any males with you? Oh, that's another female and another female. I think I'm going to make these ladies move. So here's how we're going to do that. And bring out my collar here. Let's do the elk collar and the deer bleat up here. So number nine should be my elk collar. Oh yeah, they like that. Let's see. I don't see any males. Which means I might just be able to start blasting. Oh yeah, that will take him down. Oh, Ooh, I do like that. Oh, she's attentive. Once she goes alert, I'll take her. Okay, let's go. Hopefully that's a heart shot. I don't think I got that girl. But we definitely got her. Probably not with a great shot. Let's go see. Yeah, this thing does not have the penetration I need. <laughs> That's not the first time I've said that before. <laughs> uh, okay. We got no organs hit. Uh, surprise, surprise. And no one died. Yep. Kind of figured this would be a bit of a struggle. 
Ooh. Mating call of a bighorn? I also heard a warning call of a muley, I think. These ones, I'm gonna take out with my rifle. We're gonna wait for those girls to die. If they do die, I'll go after them. If not, I'm not gonna waste my time. Oh no, why are you running? Eh, he's not running that quick. Yep, that's about as easy as it gets. That's a very fine crosshair there. I like that. Yeah, I know, Pablo. Follow me, bud. So when I look at the map here, it doesn't look like that other girl died. Yeah, very, very bad shots. I kind of expected it. But I can probably call in a new one, and he seems to be a nice male, too. Come on in, big boy. And while he's doing that, let's see what we got here. We got him with a double lung. Real nice. A little bit higher than I thought, actually. So, I think that was my fault. Hey. Who just... Who just made that noise at me? Ooh, warning call. What? Oh, okay. He's alert. That's probably not for me. It's probably a puma over there. So let's just kill him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Kind of wanted to bring him into me. That might not even hit him. I might hit a tree or something. That's the problem when you got all this grass and stuff in the way. It's real pretty, but it's hard to shoot through. Which I kind of like. Not complaining or anything like that. Oh, yep. That is ex oh, eight mythical. Dead. Gotcha, bitch. I don't know if that was actually a good shot, but I saw a turkey fly past. I got distracted. Yeah, I went up there. So sometimes on this map, oh yeah, he's dead. It was a pretty good shot. So sometimes on this map, if you see something get spooked and it's about 200 yards out or so, and you weren't running, it probably wasn't you that spooked it. Probably had one of them dumbasses running around. That's why whenever I see them, I take them out. That would be the boy that we shot. Yeah. Okay, this guy was a level three. Nice little white booty on him there. Real pretty color. He's a light gray. We got him with a lung and a liver shot. He's only a silver. A little dinky guy. <laughs> I like him. Let's go get that big old puma, though. And we got bighorn sheep here. This map is insanely easy. I feel guilty playing on it sometimes. Hey, okay, bad shot. Oh, you know what? Might not have been that bad of a shot. There's just so many animals here. So yeah, if you want to get good at the game, you have to buy Silver Ridge Beaks or hop on a multiplayer server. But I personally never play multiplayer. I, I want my own maps. I want everything fresh. No one touching my shit. And here we go with a nice Puma, 8 Mythical, 38.11. He might be the highest I've ever gotten. And we got him with a nice double lung there, exactly where we were trying to shoot. This actually might be my new favorite reticle. I really like that. So yeah, we'll grab him and toss him in the trash because he's not rare, nothing special. And we'll go get our boy up here. Let's see. Non-vital organ hit. And then... I saved it with a vital. Nope. No, I didn't. We hit him in the spine. Ah, that is why he bled so quick. But he only would have been a 121. Nothing crazy. There we go. So, if you guys want a chance to win this DLC for free and get a copy of the base game for free, comment down below your best animal joke. And you get bonus points if it's related to hunting. So I'll make a community post where I let you guys know who won. Not only that, but I will talk about it in my next video. The first thing I come out and say is who the winner is. And then you guys just reach out to me by email and I'll get you all set up. But if you guys don't want to wait that long and you want to buy this DLC, go down in my description. There is a tracking link which will take you to the Steam store page. And if you buy it through that tracking link, they're going to know. And they're going to say, good job, Rooster. And that's going to make me look good. And I know you guys want to make me look good. So go ahead and do that.
But yeah, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so excited to share my first sponsorship with you guys. This has been an amazing two years. Thank you guys for all your love and support. I would not be able to go this far without you guys. With that being said, big thank you to all my channel members as well. You guys are the best. And if you like today's video, don't forget to drop a like. If you guys want to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. My name is Rooster, and I'll see you in the next one.